ho ho, and thank you for watching my, I think, fourth or fifth video on my second channel. Today, we got a very special guest with me. I got a very special guest with me, and he's gonna talk about the most recent the motion picture, uh, oh, a motion picture special that was made on my main channel called Horrors. Now, if you want to just watch that, that's in the description. But let's give a round of applause, give a standing ovation to Mr. Dog the Friendly. Here he is, Mr. Dog the Friendly. Thank you for uh, hanging with us today. So, uh, what made you attracted to this role? I think it really related well to the uh, character I was playing, and I liked the director, I liked the cast, I liked the overall plot. It really intrigued me to play a character like this. Really? So, what was the audition process like? What you had to do? What was the director looking for? Well, he was kind of looking for a guy that could, you know, act so cute Kobe, but act, you know, sweet at the same time. And he think he saw that in me, so that's why I picked me to play the character. I think we all can agree, for those of you that already saw Horror's Night, that Mr. Dog the Friendly here was the perfect villain. I think we all like the voice. What do you think of the fans, Mr. Dog the Friendly? Do that, I did the best in the world. Yeah, let's give it up for that. So, um, I got a question for you. What was the hardest part of making the movie? The hardest part about the filming, I think, um, for me was really? getting to know my character and the fact I think the hardest part really was that it was dark, you know, it was kinda hard to see, so we kinda had to do it fast. So it wasn't that easy. It was kinda right, hard. So, um there were a couple of scenes, I saw the video. There were some scenes uh, that you were doing. How would you do the scenes that you were doing? How did they even work? Uh, you seem like it'd be a little bit difficult. So how, how did that work? Well, I had a stunt double that was a puppet that would do these scenes and, you know, he would play the cards and everything. It was not the same voice. What the director would do? Like you would voice you over? That is very cool stuff. Do you, do you know how to do that? Are you there for that process or like, do you just like... Or they just act, and that's it. You know, they any of the rest of the process. No, not really. They just pay me to act. They really don't need to be there for the rest of that. So. No, okay. Um, you think uh, the same guy here, the same director, will be asking you for any big major film roles in the future? Because I think, I thought you were a very good film role guy. I think you're, I thought when I watched you, you are a very good villain in that movie. Um, what would you watch yourself, though? I want to hear your own opinion on you know, how good you did in the movie. She was so good villain because, uh, I think you, I kind of hide it out. I was really evil. I thought that really, you know, helped me. I thought that really helped me out. Interesting ratings. Well, that you just rate your acting now. Why don't we talk about the movie a little bit more now? Did you, like, did you like the plot? When the director told you about the plot that you're going to be working with in this movie, about where your character is going to be placed in the movie, about if you got the role, which you ended up getting, the point is, did you like the plot that they were giving you? Because I think some people were concerned if you were going to like it or not. Yeah, I actually really did like it. As a kid, I always liked to play that game. So it really worked for me, and it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Fantastic. So, if there is uh, a sequel to this next Halloween, you think it would be interested in uh, reprising your role for this? As many times as you want, or whatever. You'll get paid, of course. <laughs> You'll get paid, of course. I'm sure. I'm sure they'll pay you. I mean, actors do get paid money. So, um, I'm, not, I'm trying to think of another question. I know I, I know I had another one. Um, oh, I heard you got nominated for an Emmy Award. You think you can win it? Emmy Award for best best villain. You think you can win it? It was definitely by a long shot. That's the spirit I like to hear. Give it up, everybody. I, I like that spirit. All right. So, friendly, we got a few more questions for you. Then we will wrap this up. Oh, you're falling. Oh, you okay? Okay. We got a few more questions for you, Mr. Dog the Friendly. Then we'll wrap this up. So, why did, is your villain's name the same as yours, though? I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not trying to say the red is lazy, but what you really did work that hard on uh, coming up with the name for the villain. I mean... So what was that about? We just thought it was by the way it was. We didn't need to change it. So it's about You mean it. they thought that was a cute name when uh, you realized it was good? 
I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because I, when I watched it, I, re I noticed his name was over the whole movie. In fact, I heard the main protagonist, the main good guy, asking. He's like, "What? What?" He said, "What?" He was asking what your name was, and he said, "You didn't matter because you thought I was gonna win in the game that I played you in, even though we didn't know how to play it." So you still kind of hid your name there. So it was pretty good stuff, and um, you're very proud of your performance in this movie. We hope that uh, it, it itself will be nominated for like uh, an Emmy Award for Best Film, Best Halloween Film, or something like that. You think this is going to become a classic? This is the last question. This could be a long way. This, you think this could be a classic? And if you think it will be a classic, you think, what age groups do you want to enjoy? Like young children, like, like young babies or whatever. Like children, like the children that are usually like to go to the tree, the teenagers, adults, old, like middle age, old adults, stuff like that. What do you, who do you think you enjoy this? Let's I think there's actually it's over everyone. I mean, you got a cute dog like me for the little kids. You got Halloween kind of scene for the teenagers, but well, not the teenagers, the trick or treaters. It's teenagers like a few laughs, so that's kind of cool. And that I told kind of watching with their children, uh, you know. And then uh, so with the old people. I so I think it got some Okay, I respect that answer. I enjoyed it, and I am like, you know, a man almost. So I am in actually. Uh. Thank you for uh, being here with us. We enjoyed having you here. Give him one last standing ovation from Mr. Dog. Thank you for joining us. And um, I want to thank you guys for joining us too in this interview as well. I am Al Tuamani. And I am. That was the host of the interview, of course. And I'm going to be signing out now. And I will see you. When I see you, check out my main channel. My other interviews in the description as well. Alright, guys? I will check you later.